I'm sure many of us use Prettier as formatter. I was inspired by a video on Theo's channel, so I began discussing Prettier and ESLink configurations with several front-end developers. To my surprise, over 60% of them aren't using it correctly. Honestly, it's not that surprising that many people make mistakes with it. For instance, if we search this topic on Google, the first link suggests using the ESLink plugin for Prettier, which is not correct. Typically, you'd want Prettier to handle the formatting. When you use the ESLink plugin for Prettier, you're essentially letting ESLink take over that role. This isn't recommended by Prettier's official documentation either. I highly suggest watching Theo's video on the subject. I will add the link in the description. So today we'll set up a simple and straightforward configuration for ESLIN, Prettier and React. Suitable for beginners or anyone having difficulties. Let's begin. Firstly, let's set up React project. I will use Vite, but you can use whatever CLI tool you want. I chose TypeScript, but it doesn't really matter. Prettier can handle both JavaScript and TypeScript, among many other languages. I opened the project in WebStorm and will first show you how to set up Prettier in this IDE. After that, I will demonstrate how to do it in Visual Studio Code as well. Let's install two very important packages, Prettier itself and ESLint config Prettier, which are required for Prettier and ESLint to work properly together. Now let's see how to edit the ESLint configuration to activate ESLint config Prettier. And just to be clear, don't use the ESLint plugin Prettier, use only ESLint config Prettier, which simply turns off some unnecessary rules in ESLint. To properly set up our ESLint configuration, we just add extends Prettier. Now let's open the IDE settings and type Prettier. Here I chose format and save and I can also add whatever file extensions I want to be formatted by Prettier. For example, CJS, which is our ESLint configuration extension. And that's it. Now I will show you how to set up the settings in VS Code. We just open the settings and add these lines. Of course, we don't need to add npm packages in VS Code console, because we already did it, so they are inside the node modules of the project already. VS Code will take the Prettier package from there. I hope that was helpful.